Hey y'all, and welcome to the Lady Wing Designs channel. My name is Zakia. This is a crafty channel um, about mostly cross stitch and knitting. And whether you're a new or a returning viewer, I hope that you're doing great. Um, thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me for a few minutes. So pardon my looking down. As you can see and probably hear my needles, I'm just going to keep my hands busy um, during the beginning part of this. But yeah, um, it I'm actually filming at nighttime uh, for once because I am working tomorrow afternoon. So I just want to make sure that um, this is all done and I can have time to edit and get it uploaded and all of that. Um, yeah, but it is, oops, okay, it's just past 10 p.m. on uh, March the 2nd, Tuesday, and um, yeah, so here we are, <laughs> recording another whip update. So um, let's just jump right in, because I do have quite a few things to talk about, even though it's only been a week. Um, there's, yeah, there's a lot to talk about. So let's get started. Um, first couple things are some admin. Um, well, okay, first I'm just going to basically be talking about Twitch for a second here because um, there are a few different things that I want to mention. So as promised on last week's video, I did indeed record a, um, a craft with me episode uh, sharing, shouting out, talking about all of the... Um, Twitch, or not all of, but most of the Twitch streamers that I follow, um, and all of which, uh, or most of which I've, I've hung out with and watched. So, anyway, um, I will, it's on this side, I'll pop a card in right here, so you can go check out, uh, that video if you're so inclined. If you don't know, Twitch is, um, a streaming site, so, uh, streamers get on there they live stream think of it kind of like a YouTube live except that's literally what twitch is for is for live streams a lot of people know it for video games but um, yeah there I, I usually hang out in the makers and crafting uh, category and there are a lot of amazing people over there um, it's not just fiber arts although it is a ton of fiber arts both cross stitch and um, yarny related things but um, there's also just general maker and crafting type things. Um, there are glass blowers, there are potters, um, there are people working with Legos, there are people doing puzzles, um, there are sewers, quilters, I mean, you name it. There are um, artists over there. It's, it's a super great community um, in the makers and crafters category. So highly recommend you um, check that out and like I said that video is there to give you a, a lot of people <laughs> that you can kind of jump in with um, and to that effect I also so I'm, I'm actually watching her stream right now I totally forgot to list I, I don't know how I went through my follow list twice y'all <laughs> and somehow the mother of Jedi still did not make it to the list so I'll um, add her name down here at the bottom and um, I will also link to her um, her Twitch channel down below. Every um, every project, person, tool, shop, all of that will be linked down below in the description box. Um, so there are your show notes. And uh, the other thing about Twitch is that um, I am not planning to stream over there. So um, I've had a, a few people now ask. Um, you know, like, oh, are you streaming? And that's so exciting. I can't wait to watch. You won't be watching me. <laughs> um, I am, yeah, I'm just enjoying uh, the new community and all the people over there. And uh, yeah, discovering Twitch. It's not completely marked out, uh, you know, for some time way in the future. But yeah, um, I will not be streaming anytime soon. So yeah. Um, yeah, so there's that. But thank you for being so enthusiastic about it. Um, okay, and then the other admin thing is, let me finish this round actually, is um, about my buy me a pattern page. So 
Um, if you've ever heard of the website Buy Me a Coffee, that's where it is. I just renamed mine to Buy Me a Pattern because I don't drink coffee. But um, yeah, so you can support the channel monetarily over there. Um, know that it is definitely not obligated um, by any means. There will still be um, free public content here on this channel. And uh, yeah, so you can donate to the channel over there, and um, I'm going to use that money for software, um, for different things in the future, crafty related things. Um, yeah, filming more tutorials, getting patterns tech edited, or model stitched, or test knit, or you know, whatever. Um, yeah, things that might come up in kind of business financial realms. So anyway, that is over there. Um, I will, wait, let me knit past this marker. That was not a good plan. Actually, I'm going to tink one stitch out because the next round is a cable round. Okay. So let me show you the, um, sorry, I've got messages. <laughs> Huh. Okay, anyway, let me focus. Um, okay, so this, granted, is on my phone. In hindsight, I should have actually pulled it up on my tablet to show y'all, but that's okay. You'll get the gist here. So this is um, included in all of the links that are always down below. Um, the very first links that you'll see are places you can find me on the internet. So, um... Instagram, Ravelry, um, what else is on there? Twitch, again, I'm not streaming, but it, it's on there. Um, what else is, there are a bunch of different links down there. And the Buy Me a Pattern page is one of them, so you can click down there and get to it. So um, when you come to the page, you'll, um, it'll actually look like this, because I'm not signed in on my phone. And um, yeah, so you can see the little header and such. There's a spot where you can support the channel with just a one-time donation. And then um, there's a little blurb down here about what I just told you, what I'm going to be using the money for. And the new things um, are my knitting patterns. I, um, I added them as extras on the page. So anyone can get uh, the digital download of my PDF knitting patterns here and these are the only two right now um, so right now they're just at words they're on the home page as featured extras um, but also you can see up here in the header I can hit whoops okay maybe yep yeah. I can hit extras and then, um, you know, it, when there are more extras on this page, there will be more than those two patterns there. But yeah, so if you don't know, and I actually should have grabbed these. Um, okay, hold on. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to go grab them because I'm now realizing like I haven't actually promoted my, um, my patterns in a while. So I'm just going to go grab them real quick. Okay, so I grabbed the patterns, but um, as I mentioned earlier, I have the Mother of Jedi up on my TV screen right now. It's just muted. I don't know if I said it or not. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but um, she's a variety streamer. Variety streamer. So right now I'm watching her play um, Valheim, which is a video game. And um, I'm now concerned that a lot of my socks don't fit. Can I just say that? I don't think these are going to fit anymore. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, anyway, she's a variety streamer. Right now I'm watching her play a video game, but she also crafts. There's that. <sighs> so, <laughs> let me just tell you the sad story. So y'all know in the last whip update I showed you that I um, had thrown my socks in the washer, which I've totally done before and they turned out fine. Um, I don't dry them in the dryer. I lay them out on the bed and they... Um, they just dry laying flat. I don't know what happened. This didn't happen last time. I I don't know. I'm now maybe concerned that the water was on warm cold and now and not cold cold. 
but these socks look too small and I have another pair that I was gonna that I tried to wear after I'd washed them all and they were like super tight on my feet which like okay cool that just means I have to knit more socks but oh my gosh y'all that means I've potentially just shrunk like most of my pairs of socks <sighs> it's fine like I said, I'll just have to knit more socks. But anyway, that's not the point. I'm just, I'm, I took these, um, cause my hand knit socks, I, um, I put them together and like roll them down like regular socks and like, uh, regular commercial bought socks. Anyway, these just look super tiny and I'm a little concerned. But for this pattern, it does work out because I was just thinking, um, when I uploaded those extras that I kind of want to, um, knit up another sample but anyway not the point so this is my shine bright socks pattern um you can see i haven't even woven in the ends on the sample socks it's fine no shame in my fringe so um this pattern is written uh it has instructions for both cuff down and toe up um directions of knitting there are written instructions for the patterning as well as charts and what else do I want to say? Um, technical stuff about it. Um, there are five different sizes and yeah, five different sizes, 56, 60, 64, 68, and 72 stitch sizes. Um, all of them have both the written instructions and the charted instructions. So um, I'll show you a close up here. These I, these I worked, these I worked toe up. This was, I think this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This pattern was worked toe up. I can tell because that's a bind off. But um, yeah, so it's written with a one by one twisted rib. Yep, twisted rib. Um, and then it alternates between this textured diamond pattern. Um, and, excuse me, and this lace diamond pattern. So it just alternates between those. And then it's written with a standard wedge toe and a German short row heel. Um, yeah. So there's that. These are the socks. This yarn is, um, I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm gonna put it on the screen. That's so horrible. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not gonna look it up. I don't remember right now. Conjure sock? Or maybe that's... That might be the name of the base and not the, um... And not the... I don't remember. Look down below. <laughs> I've already put it on screen by now and it'll be down below in the description box as well. But that is the sock pattern. They are looking a little rough. Maybe I should make up another sample. Um, I've actually been wanting to do this in a solid color for a while, so I think I might do that. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just thought of it. Okay. I won't say it because I won't. I can't. I can't even tell you why I can't say it. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, and then the other shawl, so um, that was actually the second pattern that I had ever published. It's my first paid for pattern. Um, this was my first ever published pattern. It might need a, or maybe it's just a super tight gauge. Anyway, I go back and forth uh, thinking that I need to reblock this, but it's just knit at a tighter gauge. So this is the main star shawl. Oops. And, um, yeah, so there it is. Now, this yarn I do remember. This is Dragon Horde yarn. And I don't remember what base, but the colorway is uh, Don't You Want Me Baby. Which, if you're not singing the song and thinking about the Chips Ahoy commercials of days in the past, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I didn't watch that much TV growing up, and I every time I think about this colorway name, I just start singing. <laughs> so... Yeah, but there is the shawl. I'll hold it a little closer. Um, you can see it's just a stockinette shawl. Um, it has 
garter edges on um, on the sides and then down here near the bind off so you start let me let me come back you start up here at this end with a few stitches and you increase out and then oops and then down here at the end uh, there's okay you know what I can hold this I can do this <laughs> down here at the end there's some garter um, to help it lay a little flatter and then you bind off and uh, yeah it's just a smaller shawl and uh, the whole point is that I I was looking f I had this yarn and I had this one skein and um, I wanted to I really wanted to make a shawl I only had the one skein and I wanted the yarn to be able to shine because I love this yarn so much hold on I'm trying to get it the way that I usually wear my shawls so you're just gonna watch me fiddle with this but this is totally how it happens this is this is what happens <laughs> when I get myself into a shawl so yeah there's that um, personal preference I usually I usually wear it just a little bit tighter around my neck and I just tuck the ends under there some people um, will tie this under here I usually only do that if it's a giant shawl to kind of keep the ends out of the way but you can do that here as well um, and if you tie it a little bit more like right here it does like it'll sit this part up a little bit more anyway I love this shawl I really don't wear it enough but um, yeah so the whole point of this pattern was that I wanted something um, where the yarn would shine and I was I was looking um, on Ravelry because nothing crazy had happened at that point so anyway I was looking on Ravelry for a pattern that was just stockinette very simple and um, a lot of the patterns that I found that I was like you know maybe I would do this they were all garter and um, garter is great but with super speckled yarns like this I really just prefer stockinette because I mean look at that like you can I mean they're not it's not exactly the right colors Y'all know how my camera feels about green. But, um, you know, like you can really see those colors and those pops, and it's just fabulous. Um, they really show up more in stockinette to me. So, I designed a shawl um, that's just stockinette in, in its entirety. And, uh, yeah, show off that, that skein of yarn or s multiple skeins, whatever. Um... Yeah, so I knit this out of one skein of fingering weight yarn, and in the pattern I do tell you what gauge I got um, and the dimensions that I got. So, you know, if you want to just grab a skein of fingering weight and kind of copy that gauge or whatever, you can do that um, and get kind of the same type of shawl. Um, but really the pattern is so simple and basic, um, which is also why it's a free pattern, that, um, that you can knit it with any yarn at any gauge. Um, so if you're going to use, I mean, even if you're using fingering weight, but especially if you're using a different weight yarn, um, look at your ball band. They usually always have a recommendation, um, of needle sizes to use and so or if you kind of know um, or you could also just google it and they'll, someone on the interwebs will tell you kind of the standard needle for that yarn weight um, but yeah basically just do a little swatch or just start knitting because um, it's not a difficult pattern and if it's a fabric you like go for it um, yeah so there's that keep in mind that if you change the yarn weight um, and or the needle size your yardage uh, requirement might be different to get the size that you want. So, okay, so that's that. I talked way more about that than I wanted because it didn't occur to me earlier, like I said, to um, to grab the patterns and show you. So let me write this on my show notes because I will forget to shine bright socks. Okay. I, um, there might not be a lot of, oof, but I've already said I'm going to put things on screen. It'll be fine. I just need to get it done <laughs> before I go to work tomorrow. So, okay, um, <clears throat> one more shout out that I wanted to do is a knitting, um, 
video cast on YouTube, a podcast as we call them. So um, if you know Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady, which if you don't know Kay, you should totally go check out her channel. She's totally one of my faves. I love uh, catching up with her. And yeah, she has the name Crazy Sock Lady for a reason. And that's totally one of the many reasons why I love watching her. <laughs> because there are so many socks. But um, yeah, so Kay has now started a uh, joint channel with... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This Her name just totally escaped me. Carrie. There we go. <laughs> oh, okay. So Kay has started a podcast with um, Carrie and I don't remember how they're related to each other right now. I'm horrible. I almost forgot her name and I can't remember how they're related. Maybe they're just friends. I don't remember. Anyway. <laughs> Go check them out. They now are doing a podcast together called One More Row. So, uh, of course, that will be linked down below. Um, I think they have just one episode out right now. There might be a second one coming soon because um, it has been a couple weeks. But, yeah, go check them out if you're looking for another uh, knitting podcast. So, okay, let's get to the crafts. And I'm going to try to just, like, fly through this. So, bear with me. Um, okay, let's start with some knitting. We're going to go in order on the, on the finishes here. So, we're into finished objects. Um, last time that I saw y'all, I had, I had the body finished on the sweater. So, it is completely done. Um, at some point, I will wear this on on here and show you uh, what it looks like. I'm not going to do that tonight. Again, I didn't think about these things. I really should have started recording like an hour, <laughs> an hour before I did, but that's okay. So um, this is all done now. You can see they're both sleeves. The ends are not woven in on this or the next thing that I'm going to show you, but it's it's all fine they'll get woven in eventually. Um, I actually have already worn this a couple of times and I love it so, so much. Um, I think the only thing I would change hindsight, these sleeves, I, I even added more to the sleeves, but um, they could actually stand to still be like another inch longer on both of them. So yeah, I'm, I, I am not that unhappy with it that I'm going to go back and like rip it out um, and and add more to them but just something to keep in mind because I do want to make this pattern again so this is the turtle dove 2 by Espace Tricot it's a free pattern and uh, yeah so I did the short rows in the back you can see this front sec or this back part comes up a little bit higher you do the short rows right back here to raise the back uh, part of the neck a little higher so I did do that and then Last week, y'all would have already seen. I did the split hem. I added another inch to the back uh, to the back hem. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I can't. My eyes were doing just fine in these classes before I started recording. Um, I used. What did I do with my yarn? It doesn't. Okay, whatever. I used Lion Brand Heartland in the Grand Canyon colorway. I think it took me three, three and maybe about a half, a, another half a skein <clears throat> um, to make this size. So yeah, um, it turned out great, I think. So there is the finished turtle dove too. I love it. So there's that. Not really much more to say. Um, I don't remember if I used this for, I need to enter this into the Imagine Knitting Cow. I think that's what I talked about last time and I haven't done it yet. I need to, um, I need to go post that because that ends at the end of, at the end of March. Um, and that's the hashtag Imagine Knitting Cow 20 with, um, the Imagine Landscapes ladies. So yeah, okay, next. So I finished that, and then I showed y'all this sweater. 
um, last week saying that I would, this is one of the ones I would be pulling out to finish. Okay. And I did. So this one just needed sleeves. And again, the ends aren't woven in, but whatever. This one I have not worn just yet, but um, I kind of want to wear it tomorrow. Like, even though the ends aren't woven in, like, I really don't care. Um, I kind of want to wear it tomorrow. So I need to look at the weather and then I'll decide. Um, but yeah, it's it's super soft and it seems like it's going to be really cozy. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is The Weekender by Andrea Mowry. Um, this is not a free pattern, but it is well worth uh, paying for it. It was, it was really nice, um, a, a really nice simple stitch. So this was my first time. Um, I I pretty much followed a pattern on this. I don't think I did anything differently. Um, I did add almost an inch, not quite, um, to both of the sleeves. But other than that, I I didn't change anything. I just knit to pattern. Um, so this was my first time doing both tubular cast-ons, um, so it's knit bottom up. So there are tubular cast-ons down here, and again, a split hem. Um, and then you do tubular bind-offs up here for the body, and then also for, um, for the sleeves. So if you don't know what a tubular bind-off is, let me see if I can hold it a little closer here. So a tubular bind off, you can kind of see, I'm trying to tell which sleeve is better to show you this on. Because <laughs> it is, it's a little, because it's a darker yarn, so it's a little harder to see on my screen anyway. So you can see um, those knits on, it's easier to see in the knits, um, how they like come up to the edge and then they just roll around and continue. Can you see that? I think you can kind of tell it there. Um, so that is what a tubular cast off or um, uh, cast on or bind off does. Um, it just gives it a really finished kind of rolled um, looking edge. So this was the first time that I did both the cast on and the bind off for tubulars and I loved them. The cast on, um, it's been months since I did the cast ons. I do remember them being a little fiddly at first, um, but they really weren't too bad, and the bind-offs I absolutely love. Um, a tubular bind-off is basically just Kitchener Stitch, so I love it because I love doing Kitchener Stitch. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is my finished Weekender. This was also knit out of Line Brain Yarn. Um, this is their jeans line. Um, all of them totally look like denim as well. Last week I talked about um, I couldn't find any. I linked down below last time to the Lion Brand page for this yarn, for the jeans yarn. Um, and it looked like, I didn't like add it to cart or anything, but it looked like you can order it directly from them. So that's probably what I'll be doing um, at some point because I definitely want to knit something else in this yarn. Um, and this is the brand new colorway. So, yay, there's that. Okay, there's that finish. And then the other finish that I had, okay, excuse the crinkling there, um, is the Made to Create Sal, um, and that's the hashtag as well, hashtag Made to Create Sal, with Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And um, I finished part two because it came out, um, actually the last day that I was, was recording it came out. So part two, we got the A, um, pretty positive we're spelling the word create for the sal. Um, so the, for February's part, we got the A, um, which had some buttons in this part, um, stork scissors. These are diamond painting drills. When I went and read Sally's post about um, what all the crafts represented were, I was like, dude, that is brilliant. <laughs> because I looked at that when I opened my pattern and I was like, what is that? Like behind the scissors, like what could that possibly be? And they're diamond painting drills. So I thought that was super cool how, um, how that fit over in there. Um, and then obviously a yarn ball and knitting needles, which I coincidentally was working on while I was hanging out. 
uh, with Louise and the other Fiber Friends over in the Fiber Friends Friday Night Knit In group. So um, yeah, I was working on that last Friday and I was uh, stitching up the yarn ball. So it was perfect. I wasn't knitting, but I was knitting. <laughs> so um, while I was making yarn, which is the step before knitting. So whatever. But yeah, so um, there is part two. So this is a finished for now, an FFN, more than a finished object, but whatever. I count it as a finished object for the month on my spreadsheet. Um, I say, sp I mean, it is a spreadsheet, but it's a calendar. I just have it as an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, there is month two. This is on 32 count. Um, it's just the brown linen that we're using for the sal. I'm not, it says Weigart linen, um, but I'm not sure what colorway it is. Um, I should ask Sally. I'm sure she knows. But um, I got the kit. So this is the called for fabric, called for flosses, um, which are all DMC. And this is the sal needle minder. It says made to create. It's a little bobbin. So yeah, and you can still join in on the sal. Um, I mean, even once it's done, it won't be a mystery with parts being released, but you will still be able to buy the pattern. So yeah, if you do want to join in on the on the uh, mystery stitch along releasing fun, you still can. Just head to Sally's website. I don't have a coupon code for you this time, but um, I think there are a couple people out there in the floss tube world who do. So. I can't remember them right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, maybe Shiloh of X Stitch MD and um, maybe Aaron of Two Martini Stitcher. I don't remember if they do, but they might. <laughs> I do know that both of them are also working on that sale. Um, okay, so that is that. Oh, the Weekender. I um, I did enter that as. Um, as my first entry into Moonstone Makes, um, that's uh, another knitting podcast here on YouTube. So uh, Moonstone Makes is hosting a hashtag Fin Fix Frog Mal make along. Um, so yeah, I finished that sweater, the Weekender, the blue one, and so um, that's my entry into that style or Mal. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay. So now let's go to some whips. Also, at the end of last month, I worked on there. Look at this. There's so many things on this fabric. And I'm hoping that I can still get two more projects on here. So, the one that I need to show you is my winter tree. Um, so, the actual name of the pattern is just winter. And uh, it's by... Oops, here we go. It's by Diana Shop Ukraine. On Etsy I bought the entire series she has a like barber pole uh, version of this where you can just have all the patterns in one um, but it doesn't have the backgrounds and I really liked and wanted to, st to stitch the full coverage versions of these with the different color backgrounds so I bought each of the patterns individually and um, yeah I've already done summer and I finished autumn earlier this year yes earlier this year um that's a lie I finished autumn the end of 2020 because I started winter on the winter solstice um <clears throat> yeah so this is where I am with winter at the moment and uh, I'm just using all the called for DMC except for I'm making one substitution I'll tell you what it is uh, whenever I finish it. I thought that I had that one called for color that I'm apparently missing. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I found a close up substitute and we're going with it. But yeah, I'm working on, uh, like I did with Autumn, I'm working on all of the background first and then it'll just be super simple fill in because this pattern only has uh, six colors anyway. So yeah, that's where I am. Um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, um, so since I started this one on winter solstice, I really am aiming to finish it um, before the spring equinox, which is on March the 20th, it's a Saturday, um, because I want to start the spring tree, which will be my last one for the series. I want to start that on spring equinox. 
So I do need to like definitely get moving on this because today is the second. Um, well, it'll be the third when you're seeing this video. And uh, I still have... Yeah, I still have like half of the background to do and filling it in. So I need to get moving. Um, like I said, called for DM or all DMC flosses on 16 count Ada. And this needle minder is from Brenda's Minders and More. She has a Facebook group. I'll link it down below. So yeah, there's that. Oh, there's Autumn Tree that I was referencing. Yeah, that's a 20. But anyway, so there's the Autumn Tree. I love this series. I cannot wait to get to the spring one. Um, I haven't FFO'd fully finished any of them because I'm waiting to like do them all at once because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Okay, so winter tree, and then, um, this is not, nope, that's not what I wanted. So this next one, um, during down periods is held in a Love You More Studio book sleeve. It says, creativity is messy, and I am very creative. Mm-hmm, pretty accurate. This was actually, uh, the very first Love You More sleeve that I got. So there's that, and then throws it down because I totally care. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so if you watched the craft with me yesterday, you would have seen me working on this and talking about it. Um, a few people in the stitchy realm are doing hashtag monochromatic March Sal. And, um, yeah, I'm not do I'm not gonna like focus on one project or kind of stick to monochromatic for the whole month or anything. Um, <clears throat> instead I am gonna do a monochromatic Mondays. And coincidentally, both of my monochromatic pieces, the only two that I have right now, out of my 30-something whips, I only have two monochromatic pieces. Okay. But anyway, um, both of them happen to be modern folk embroidery, so that was kind of cool. But um, this one is Zimmerman Coverlet. And uh, yesterday I basically just added, I was like here, I didn't have that bottom part. So I added all of this yesterday. I did a little bit more after the Craft With Me video. Um, yeah, so I pulled this out and I worked on it uh, yesterday, which was Monday. And next week, so I'm going to alternate. So next week will be Love and Unity, which is the other piece that I have. Um, Grime Guard is from Silver Moon Sewing. This Needle Minder is from Sampling of Memories. And uh, I'm using DMC 3721 on 36 count sand by Picture This Plus. So, yay! There's. I realize that that is totally see through. So, there you go. It's got shadows on it and everything. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, I'm keeping this in the Q Snap, or I'm going to try with uh, March matchup plans, which we'll talk about in a second. But I'm going to try to keep this in this Q snap so that if I need like something super simple that I just want to grab for, I can grab on this through the week. But also to that effect, I need to finish Winter Tree. So kind of a toss up there. I guess it'll depend on whether I want to work on Linen or Ada options. So talking about March matchup, um, Hold on, let me reply to this. Um, okay, right, focusing. I'm here. <laughs> so, um, March Madness is, or March Stitchy Madness, is an event that was started last year and is happening again. It's hosted by uh, Still City Stitchers, and it's inspired by the March Madness College Basketball Bracket Tournament that happens here in the U.S. Um, during March. Um, Michelle Bindi um, suggested the idea of not um, using the word madness or mania or any kind of, um, any words that could also relate to mental health. Um, because those are real issues that um, that people with mental health problems have to deal with. And so, yeah, to not make light of it or, you know, just anything like that. Um, she didn't want to use that word, and I am totally behind that. Um, 
Yeah, plus for me, it'll just, it'll keep it separate in my mind um, from the actual basketball tournament because I do try to watch that every year. <laughs> so now I just won't get them confused. But anyway, the hashtag that we're using is um, March Matchup 2021. I almost forgot what year it was. And, um, okay, let me show you my bracket. That's what I'm supposed to be pulling up right now. Um, okay, so... The way that Still City Stitchers does it and um, what, I'll, what most people are kind of sticking with is, um, <clears throat> let me show you the bracket. It makes more sense. <laughs> it makes a little more sense if I show you this. Again, we're on my phone. Sorry, not sorry. So um, you can basically see what's happening here. So over here. Okay, so this is the whole bracket, right? Let me just go through this real quick. So here's like a round of eight. So most people have it where um, this first project, you, come on, this first project would be on March the 1st, March the 2nd. This one I'd work on March the 3rd, March the 4th, right? And then five, six, seven, eight. And then people would vote on each kind of pairing, you know, bracket style. And then the winner will move forward and they'll keep moving forward. I cannot be switching my projects that much. Um, switching projects every day is just like, I, uh, I need um, more time to just kind of settle in. Plus, I'm totally doing this because I want to see progress on my whips. Um, I think so I think a lot of people are doing it where there are new starts as well. All of mine are whips. Um, yeah, so anyway, I, instead of one day for kind of each game, so to speak, um, I am doing two days. So March 1st and 2nd, I worked on Change of Seasons 2. Let me, let me show you what it's going to look like. Um, so yesterday and today, I worked on Change of Seasons 2 by, oh, that's why, by um, Mystic Stitch. Oh, good to know. Pattern Keeper has an update. Not right now. That's not what I need right now. Okay, so this is what the pattern will look like. I am stitching. I started this uh, with Alma from Alma's Little Wonders. We're hoping to finish this by Leap Day uh, 2028, but we'll see because your girl is hopelessly <laughs> behind. So, um, yeah, anyway. That's what it will look like. I'm working. I started in the top left as per usual. So I'm working on the autumn section, which I am not sad about still being stuck on at all when I think of it like that. So um, this is where I'm at. I'm not going to show you a before picture because really I just did like a few rows down here and I've just barely started extending things right in here. So I think I've done like 150 stitches <laughs> in these two days. I, yeah, it. Today was a really tough mental health day, so I really did not get a lot done. And yesterday I was busy trying to do all the things, so there just wasn't enough time in the day. But yeah, so I worked on that. Um, I still need to make my post tonight showing where it is, because like I said, I'm not going to show a before picture. Um, yeah, and so that'll that's the first project. So... Um, the third and the third and the fourth, which I will show you the next three projects or talk about the next three projects at the end. Um, but yeah, so the third and the fourth will be uh, Tranquil Tulip. And then the fifth and the sixth is a project that I'm going to have to take a very sly picture of because I can't show that. <laughs> um, it's for family. So... Uh, I can't show it. I literally cannot even show you the name. I don't want them to have any idea. So, or, you know, barely any ideas. So I'm going to have to get creative with the picture. Um, yeah. And then March 7th and 8th will be Thanksgiving. And then what, another thing that I'm doing different. Um, so this is a round of eight and this is a round of four, right? Eight projects, four projects. So, um, most people are working through the entire eight and then coming to this round of four. I am instead, um, again, because I like to have a little bit more time with my projects and not changing Q snaps and things all the time. 
So I'm going to work these two and then a poll will go up on my Instagram stories for people to vote on which one will move forward. And while that's happening, I'm going to come down to these two and then y'all will vote on what moves forward. And then um, instead of moving down to these, I'm going to come over here and work on whichever two of those projects won out. And then they'll take a bit of a break. And then I'm going to come down here and start that process again. That way, by the time I get to the round of two, it's like, oh, hey, I did a good bit of work on this project already. Let's come back to it and enjoy it just a little bit more. Um, yeah, we'll be talking about it more throughout the month. I know we will. So, um, so that's a March matchup. And um, yeah, that was the last stitchy project that I've kind of been working on for right now. So after I finished my Weekender, I, um, I still had about one skein of that yarn left over. Um, it was like divided into balls and yeah, it was, it wasn't all like in one skein, but I, I weighed it and it was about one skein's worth. So I started, I wrote it down. I started, uh, Jason, can't speak. Jason's Cashmere Hat by Melissa Thompson of uh, Sweet Fiber Yarns, and I really just wanted a nice cabled hat. So this is the pattern. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's free. Pretty sure that it's a free pattern because I don't have the money to spend on that right now. Um, so I'm pretty sure it was free. But yeah, so you can see it just has um, simple cables and uh, some ribbing in between and it has a super long brim um, so I did go ahead and do the long brim because in my Ravel research um, you can put in like how much yardage um, you need the pattern to cover so I put in like the max of yardage that I had so that I would know that the pattern because I really just want to use up the rest of this yarn right um, yeah so I'm actually not getting gauge. I'm knitting tighter than the gauge that's in the pattern, which is super weird for me. So I actually, I because sh they have it where you measure the ribbing. So I was like, you know, I'm going to basically need to knit almost the whole ribbing before I can measure. And at first I was like, you know, it's fine. I'm going to cast on with what they say. And if I need to go up a size or whatever, I will. By the time I got the ribbing done, I didn't feel like doing that. By the Or by the time I got enough to measure, I didn't feel like doing that, which was fine. Um, I just, yeah, I, I already know who it's going to go to if, um, if it doesn't fit. So we'll see what happens. I am hoping that it fits me, though, because I, I really like it. Um, yeah, and so again, this is the Lion Brand Jeans yarn in the brand new colorway. There is that. And um, it is now sharing the sock bag with my with my Kia socks that you can see in there. So they're both fairly simple. Um, and I am doing those cables without a cable needle. Um, the usual trick for doing that, you like kind of move your needle behind the stitches without taking the stitches off the needle. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't, go look up how to cable without a cable needle. Um, yeah, I but this I'm pretty sure this is a free pattern. But um, the cable is a three by three cable, so there are three. It's a six stitch total. You move three anyway. If you've worked cables, I'm not gonna go into detail. But if you've worked cables before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm doing it without a cable needle. But what I'm doing um, when I get to it, I literally slip the three the first three stitches that you're supposed to move I just knock them off of the needle um, and then I slip the next three to the right needle right so I'm, I'm applying the twist and then knitting across it so I s knock the first three off the needle slip the next three to the other needle slip the three that you knocked off like you can't be moving around and jostling a bunch so that the stitches don't come out and then I just slide those onto the left needle um, so the twist has already formed basically and then you slide the other three stitches back over to the left needle and then you just knit across them it if that sounded complicated it's not and if it didn't sound complicated 
you either already know how to do cables or you should go try them because they look so classy and um and extra for lack of a better word but they're really not um they're super fun to work okay so the only other whip that i have is um the new start that i told you i was gonna have for high tea i don't even know do i okay we're just gonna go to my Ravelry here. So I am knitting. I started this um, yesterday, just barely. I got cast on before midnight. And uh, yeah, so I started this along with Caroline of Off the Grid Needle Arts for her March high tea. It's the only one that happened this year. And um, yeah, you use stuff from your stash and start a special project. So usually it is um, stitching. But I decided I do not want, um, I mean, you know, for March matchup, I purposely did not put any new starts on that. So I said for this, um, same thing. I didn't want to start a new stitchy project. So I'm going to start a new knitting project instead. I mean, to be fair, I did just get two sweaters off the needles. So I started the Nautis Cardigan by Melania, Melina Hammy, Hami. still don't know. <laughs> Um, it'll be linked down below, but yeah, that is what it is. It won't be striped. I'm going to use one of the colors there. So remember that bit. Um, I showed you the yarns. I did, I didn't tell you the colorways last time, but if you looked down in the description box, I did actually list all of the colorways. We're going to do that again because I'm still not using them all just yet. And I just don't feel like listing them all out right now. <laughs> As horrible as that sounds. Sorry. So let me stack them. So this is the way, this is the order that they're going to be knit up. Um, I did swatch. I posted about it on Instagram. I do have a picture. It did happen. I literally, I didn't cut any of the yarn when I did the swatch. You can see I wound it all back on here. Um, but I did actually like wash and lay out the swatch and everything. Um, I never do that, but <laughs> I did it this time and it was really satisfying. Um, yeah, cause I really just wanted to make sure that I was going to be knitting the right size and all of that jazz. So that is my palette. This mini skein, I'm not sure where or if it's going anywhere yet. Um, but it matches the palette and I have it. So anyway. I'm, I am thinking of ways I can use it though. So this is my my uh, color scheme. You can see this top one is sparkly. So that's the one that we're going to talk about because it's the only one that has been um, cast on just yet. I can throw that out. Or actually that goes in the other project bag. Okay. <laughs> I switched some of my project bags around. Um, so this is... Oh. Never mind, the tags are on the inside. This is Lolo Did It in the Wicked colorway. It's showing a more grayish blue, which it kind of is, but um, there is green over in there as well. I think you can just barely see it. So this is Wicked, um, based off, inspired by um, Wicked, the, the play, musical. There we go, that's what I wanted, the musical. And uh, yeah, it's on her sparkly base. This is literally all I have done, y'all. <laughs> it took me all night to start, and then I was super tired. So, this is all I have done. Just barely started. Um, I got these, like, front shoulder pieces done, and then you join here. So, that's all I've done. And I, I have to remember not to say too much, because this is not a free pattern. Um, but, I mean, literally just barely started. I'm going to be working on this some more tonight though because I just need some knitting right now. Um, okay, so that was the last whip. So, um, sorry that I'm kind of speeding through this today, but there's a lot. We're already in an hour. Um, okay, so plans. I have to be very careful about how I show this one. Plans. Where's the other thing for plans? Here it is. Okay, so I um, showed you the bracket, and the next thing that I'm doing 
on the 3rd and the 4th, I will be working on a QS Tranquil Tulip by Heaven and Earth Designs. The artwork is by Hannah Lynn, and that is what it looks like. So I started working this one um, extreme cross country, so I'm taking one color. I started with um, the most prominent colors, and I'm stitching across the entire pattern. So um, I've done all the 310, and the next one will be the 939. Um, so what I did with my March matchup, I forgot to mention this, um, the basis that I did, I put all of my, uh, outstanding WIPCO projects on there. So change of seasons, tranquil tulip, Thanksgiving are all from January. Change of seasons is now done though. Um, it got its fifth day yesterday. Um, and then the secret project that I won't say and Hogwarts castle, which you might've seen on the bracket. Um, got picked for March and like I said I can't tell you what the other project is but it's perfect that it got picked for March because I already wanted to work on it this month so and um, house pride days are at the end, near the end of March I'm gonna try to do a sale for that I need to post about it um, that is March 20th through the 23rd so I was gonna pull out Hogwarts Castle anyway so it's just perfect but yeah so this is where I'm starting from on Tranquil Tulip. So there's that. Like I said, it still needs five days for Whipco, so these two will be great. And then um, on the, so I'm working on this on the third and the fourth, another Love You More Studio sleeve. This is the Kindle size. Um, so I'm going to work on this on the third and the fourth. And then on the fifth, over on my Instagram uh, stories, um, go there and there will be a poll up. Uh, for you to vote between Change of Seasons and Tranquil Tulip to see who moves forward. So make sure you head over there and do that. That'll be on the 5th. Um, and then the next one will happen on 6, 7, 8. So the next one will happen on the 9th um, to vote for Secret Project versus Thanksgiving, which I'm going to show you now. So, um... You can see that there's floss. The project is indeed in the Q-Snap. Um, it's been in there for way too long, honestly, but it is in there. I can't, I can't show you anything more than that. But, ee, so excited. They send you a needle and it, I still have it in there. I haven't used it apparently. So there's that. Oops, sorry. It's a kit. Anyway, um, the other one, I need Pattern Keeper again. Um, there's going to be a lot of full coverage this month, y'all. So this other one, um, is an oldie but a goodie. This is Thanksgiving from Tilting Crafts. It was a free chart. I'm not sure if it's still available or anything, but I love it for multiple reasons. Autumn, Thanksgiving, food, all the things. So this is where I am. I haven't worked on it in forever. I am parking on this one. Hold your breath if you are usually one of those people that's like, oh my god, how do you deal with all those threads? Because it's it's a lot of threads, y'all. <laughs> okay, you ready? I told you. <laughs> so, um, this is where I'm at right now. I've got pages one, two, and half of four done. Well, not really half. Well, almost half of page four there. So yeah, that's where I will be starting from. And you'll get to see next time uh, where I'm at. So this is on 22 count Ada that I got um, by Loops and Threads. It's I got it from Michaels. Um, I'm doing that one over one. Tranquil Tulip is on um, 18 count Ada and I'm doing that two over one. Okay. And then other than those, I will also, um, I'm going to try to pick up the Delicate Cardigan, which I showed y'all last week. I'm going to try to pick that up, but we'll see. Maybe not. Um, I would like to get to it this month, but it might not be in this next week. And then um, the Notches Cardigan. Oh my gosh, y'all, that's it. <laughs> Basically an hour. I'm super stoked about that. 
Um, yeah, the only other thing that I did want to mention is that I have happy mail coming. I'm super excited. Um, I was just, if you watched the craft with me, I was just raving about, um, Indocat, which I am unashamed to say totally my favorite streamer, period. Favorite Twitch streamer. Um, her streams are just great and, uh, I truly love hanging out with her. I do not miss a stream. I might not stay the whole time, but even if I don't stay the whole time while it's live, I will go back and watch the VOD after. So, um, VOD, video on demand, it's basically a replay. Um, but a lot of people over there refer to them, refer to them as VODs. So yeah, anyway, um, I always watch the replays because her streams are just great. I mean, literally, the nights where I don't make it through the whole live stream, I go back and I watch, and I, I usually end up cackling, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I missed out <laughs> when I got off. So, anyway, um, V was doing a, um, she got to 250 subscribers uh, near back near the beginning of February. And uh, she had said when she got to 250, she would do a giveaway for a skein of yarn. And uh, I won. So she had it where we redeemed channel points to, um, to enter into the giveaway. And it ended uh, after the end of February. And uh, she streamed last night and pulled the winner. And it was me. Oh, my gosh. It was just so great. Um, I was really, really hoping that, that I would win. I put in a lot of entries. <laughs> Because I really wanted that yarn and I'm super, super excited to get it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but it'll be really good to have it in my stash. Um, it's a skein of Manos del Uruguay, which is super exciting because I have never had a chance to use their yarn yet. In all my years, I have seen it and never gotten to use it, so I'm super excited. Um, yeah, but that's basically it. Um... I, I don't have it here to show you. She just sent it off today. So it should be here by the end of the week. Yay! I will definitely be posting about it on Instagram. And uh, you'll totally see it next week. So. Okay. I feel like I have just. Whoosh. Just like spitfire all the information. <laughs> um, yeah. So. I. Uh, that's all that I have. I, I went through that so fast for once. That I like don't know. <laughs> what to say now but yeah um it'll basically just be some march matchup the next few days um i have to work tomorrow so i'm expecting not much will happen after i go to work because i'll probably be super tired because this is my first day working um since football season ended so i'm gonna be tired and it's baseball so the game is already gonna be longer anyway <laughs> so yeah It'll be okay. Uh, I, I'm excited to get back to feeling like I'm doing something again. Um, I'm definitely over this quarantine BS. Um, not to say that, you know, we're just going to go out willy-nilly and do whatever. I'm still wearing masks, still being socially distant, all of that. Um, if anything, I'm having a hard time going back and being out in public um, near people because I've been quarantining for almost a year. So... Yeah, um, if anything, I'm having a harder time <laughs> getting back out in the world. But, you know, still being safe and cautious and all that. I'm just saying I need to get out of this apartment. I need to feel like I am contributing something to the world. And I also need money. <laughs> so working just kind of like satisfies all of that. But I also love my job. So it'll be good to see some people. Okay, enough rambling because that's totally what I'm doing now. Um, I want to go knit on my cardigan before the day is over because it is now after 11 o'clock. So um, I hope that y'all are doing well. Like I always say, as well as we can be during all of this. Um, it's been a year and it seems like we're still caught up in the crazy, but I hope y'all are doing well. Um, taking care of yourselves, taking time out for yourselves, crafting when you can or doing something that you generally enjoy. And, uh, yeah, check out Twitch streamers, um, maybe check out my patterns if you would like, or donate to the channel, and, uh, oh, I totally forgot, this is a bust, because now it's at the end, but I guess if you're, if you're one of the homies that watches the whole thing, 
you can tell me. <laughs> um, I'll just have to mention this again next week at the beginning. But um, the buy me a coffee thing. I put on my Instagram today in my stories asking um, some people what kind of like extra content or exclusive content you would like to see um, or would be interested in. Uh, I've been thinking for really the past year, for a while, um, I've been thinking about starting a Patreon page. And um, now that I have the Buy Me a Coffee page, um, like you can do extras over there, as you can see. And you can also have a membership, both monthly and yearly subscriptions. So um, I'm not sure yet whether it would be on Patreon or if I would just do something on the Buy Me a Coffee to kind of keep everything in one place that makes more sense to me um but yeah first of all would would you be interested um because you know if there isn't like a big interest you know I, I I might not do it anyway but let me know if you would be interested in something like that um you would be paying for the extra ex slash exclusive content um so there's that to you know I, I know people are in a tight budget but that, that's what it is. Anyway, you would be paying for it, um, but let me know if you would be interested in that at all, and if you would, um, or or even if you just want to give suggestions for things that I could do, um, yeah, leave them down below for what you might be interested in. Um, some of the things that I've been thinking about are um, uh, live chats, vlogs, kind of like day in the life stuff, um, what were other things? Um, someone suggested um, like knitting lessons, which I'm still playing around with the idea of um, of what exactly that would entail. But you know, just uh, throw out some ideas. What what would you uh, be interested in seeing? Extra exclusive con extra slash exclusive content. It doesn't. It's not all inclusive there. But okay. Anyway, I'm really rambling now, so uh, leave some, su some suggestions down below if you'd be interested in that, and um, I'm going to say goodbye now. <laughs> Thank y'all, as ever, for hanging out with me again this week. Um, yeah, until next time, happy crafting, y'all. Bye.